it's Chloe Demir of Save Victor. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes. And it's been a hot minute. It is time for some new releases on a no buy. So if you want to see what releases have been ruminating around in my brain, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. We got ourselves a naked face here for new releases. Uh, it's been a bit of a work week, so I've not been in the mood to put on or film a makeup look, though I am going to have one for Monday. But I thought we'd just do new releases with um, my feral self. So glasses on and let's talk new releases. So what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to do with some out now, the ones that are coming out in the next few days or next little bit. And then a little thing that I want to do here that I want to, every once I like new releases and I don't want to dog on them, but sometimes it's like, what are you people thinking when it comes to cost? So I'm going to have a nice but overpriced <laughs> portion, which is things that I think that are really pretty, but I would never ever in my life spend the money for unless I won like 40 million dollars in a lotto because insanity but we'll leave that till last so first off we've got a new release this is out now it came out on the 21st of April it's been about three weeks since I've done the releases there hasn't been a lot that's been entertaining me the few things that I have been interested in have been such limited sneak peeks that I haven't really seen much or there wasn't really much to talk about um, but a few have been up here so I'll have a little bit more and creature cosmetics I'm looking at you where is my information I thought this was coming out in May nothing but anyway, so out now, this, I'm gonna do this picture up first. This is a Blend Bunny collab with Ellis Atlantis. And so I'd forgotten some things about Ellis Atlantis trajectory, but uh, he started originally on Glow Up season one with that annoying woman, Val Garland, and her trying to do that catchphrase. She makes me mental. I know some people love her, but yuck. Anywho, um, Ellis Atlantis did um, amazing on Glow Up. He's known for such fantastical looks and he managed to get on to RuPaul's Drag Race as a drag queen as well. I'm really excited about this collab for Ellis and for Blunt Bunny. Anyways, so there is this beautiful collab out here. This is the Rainbow of All Rainbow palettes. It is beautiful. This whole collection is actually beautiful. So I'm just going to sh show a photo of the whole collection here so we can talk about it as we go along. So anyways, we all we've got here is volume one is the eye and face palette. So it's the Ellis eye and face palette and it says here this palette is way more than a rainbow palette it captures the essence of the rainbow whilst giving you varying undertones which is very very cool with bold matte formulas that blend like butter and gleaming liquid metal shimmers the ellis palette gives you the tools to create without limits this palette is comprised of a 40 that's a huge palette high impact mattes four ethereal veil shimmers and one liquid metal shimmer and it's going to be 66 dollars us um, I love the Blend Bunny formula. I have, do I have two of their palettes? I think I have two of their palettes. I have the Surge palette, which I love, and then I managed to get a hold of it. You would have probably seen the video of the Sugar and Grunge palette. I'm still wanting that Lure palette, like nobody's business, but here we are. We're talking about the new release. So anyways, the palette, I love it. Um, the mirror looks gorgeous inside. This is really nice. The artwork for this um, release is nice, period. But the rainbow palette isn't the thing that I'm into, but let's go on with some of the other releases. Yeah. So we've got the Solar Flare and Lunar Eclipse Dimension palettes. And these are blush trios. So it says here's these blush trios harness multiple tones of pink and orange. Now I am a whore for orange. I've been liking lots of pinks recently because I do love the um, Trick Trixie Mattel and the P. Louise pink blushes are to die for. Um, but I generally really orange palettes are my my love language so anyways we've got the solar flare and lunar eclipse and it says here helping you to achieve ellis's signature sculpted cheeks ellis believes that contour doesn't stop at contour palette and that blush is the key to the dimensional finish and they're going to be 26 dollars us each 
Um, did I take any close-ups? I did not. But anyways, you can see the two palettes here and you can see the one is mostly pink and the other one is peachy, pinky, terracotta-y. And I think it looks gorgeous. Like if I could get my hands on anything, well, I would like both plus palettes, but orange one is looks amazing and 26 bucks each they look like really nice sized pans as well from blend buddy i also have their highlighters i've not tried any blushes um but i do have a couple of the palettes and i do have the highlighter which i really adore um what else is we've got here also is a celestial cheek glaze i don't think i noticed this before but i see it on the on the photo and on you look on the photo here it is that looks like to be the pink one there that looks almost like a single blush and it says here this high intensity cheek glaze deliver delivers an instant flush of pink radiance with a formula that applies a powder that gives you the appearance of a shimmering star 16 dollars us that sounds really good and another interesting thing to this collection is the star burst lash clusters and it says these individual clusters add drama and dimension to every eye look stack them layer them or wear them how you want for that personalized touch and they're 12 dollars us and it looks like to be to be quite a few in there let me just make this photo big here 40 of them in there something like that hmm nice that is very cool i've never tried i've cut a few smaller lashes but most of the time half lashes as small as i go um and then i've seen people buying lash kits where they stick them underneath these single lashes looks pretty cool um let's do another um look of the collection here that you can see with the covers packaging looks really nice it's kind of gothy i think in one way i was slightly disappointed with the palette because when it had that beautiful ellis's writing in that kind of drippy gothy look i was ooh, i was expecting something gothy but there are some nice beautiful dark tones in this rainbow palette so you can definitely get some good gothy looks so there is that it is it's pretty nice i have to say and then let's do a close-up of the palette and then you can see what i mean if you look at the front two rows there where that you get the kind of nice dark reds burgundy ish and then on the other end you got the darkers blues purples browns and greens so it does go um it is a rainbow palette but it does definitely have some different use and different undertones so that looks really good so anyways did you get any of the blood buddy collection looks pretty great to me next up we have a release from one of my favorite brands it's saint angel sinners and this is coming out today not when this video airs at uh, midnight but at 7 a.m pst or um, 10 a.m est or eastern standard time this is a collab with calvin brockington artistry um, he's a makeup artist on um, instagram you can see him on instagram he does have a youtube presence but i don't think he does a lot on youtube but he does do a lot on instagram and this is the reckless collection the first thing we're showing here is the palette and it's a stunner it is one that is good for everybody let's read the little um write-up that we have on here regarding the collab and it says here we will not be restrained we will dream we will not be dictated at we will imagine we will not be instructed because we can feel and we will never be held down because we can fly this is permission to be yourself to to let the inside show on the outside no matter how wild fun or fantastic if it's in you let it out if it's part of you set it free reckless is not just a palette it's a passport to your freedom and expression it's a way for you to say so much without saying anything at all be free be beautiful be limitless less and most of all be reckless yes especially when it comes to makeup do you boo young old middle-aged adventurous neutral whatever whatever floats your boat let's do it gen x model whatever blows your hair back um this is a 21 pan palette we've got five duochromes one multi-chrome and 15 mattes it's going for 15 52 dollars but with 10 percent off you can get it for 46 80 and that's with the code kelvin and there's also going to be a bundle with the palette and it's uh, yes and in the bundle which we'll talk about next there's also three lip glosses and three lip liners and it's going to go for 110 dollars but again with the calvin you get um code you get a 10 percent discount 
to be $99. But if you want to buy them separately, each of the glosses is $14 and each of the lip liners is $14 as well. So I didn't take pictures of the liners. Liners technically are liners to look at, but here is a picture of the glosses. There are three glosses and three liners. I happen to have two of each. If I remember, I'll post some pictures of me using them. Um, the glosses are really nice. They're not too sticky. They last pretty decently and I never had any hair stuck or anything in them. The pencils are my favorite type of pencil. They're sharpenable and they're not too hard to hurt um but hard enough so they're easy to will be easier to sharpen but they're not so so um hard that you can't line the lips and they're not too um emollient that they get everywhere they're really nice so you can nicely line and like i said i like to fill in my lips so that if the lipstick or lip gloss wears out i still have color underneath and the glosses are super nice I really like them. The palette looks beautiful. And we're just gonna post that back up, up here again. I'm really digging that first part of the palette there with the green and the yellow. Those kind of grungy colors are my jam. This definitely is good for those who like to do neutral, who like some pops of color. This definitely can do a lot of looks. I would say that this is definitely an every gal's palette and you can be adventurous with it. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty beautiful. I can definitely see this being a palette that a makeup artist would use a lot as well, because it does have some um, good depth to it, and it is yeah, it's very beautiful. I quite like it, and I think the packaging is really great too. Darcy, you did great, and uh, good luck. I hope it sells really well. Go Calvin and Darcy. So there I go. Again, it's a 21 pan palette with five duochromes, one multichrome and 15 mattes for $52, 10% off with the code Calvin for $46.80. You can bundle it with the three lip glosses and three lip liners for $110 or with the 10% off code Calvin $99. And then we have the three lip glosses and three liners that you can get separately at $14 each. They'll be on sale and in stock. So this isn't a pre-order by 7 a.m. PST, 10 a.m. EST um, when you wake up. And there we go. There's our St. Angels Center. So next up, we are going to go with um, some things that are coming up. So we've got here, um, let's see here. Let's go with the first photo that kind of started it all. It's kind of the cover, which is supposed to be for the palette or for the box. I'm not sure. I'll also intersperse here the video. I've taken the sound off just so you can kind of see the premiere video for this. And it is for the crow. There's gonna be two people doing the crow, including creature, but I've seen nothing here. Wicked Widow is on the ball at getting these out. And again, here it says here, a special 30th anniversary collection. We've been waiting on this collection for the past year and it's finally here. A special 30th anniversary collection. We've been working on this collection for the past year and it's finally here. The first officially licensed cosmetic collection for the legendary 1994 film, The Crow, starring Brandon Lee, one of my favorite films ever. We aim not only to celebrate the enduring legacy of the crow, but also provide beauty enthusiasts with a chance to immerse themselves in the world of the cult classic film. When we launched our brand two years ago, one of our initial posts features a quote from the film. It's incredible to see how things have come full circle. So the first, so that they showed that box first, and then they showed this bag where I don't have any more information on, except for it looks like a tombstone, it looks very, very cool. It looks like you could probably wear it cross body. So the one item we do have information for is for the lipsticks. And here we go. It says here, introducing four matte lipsticks in the colors from left to right. Rain, Forever, Graveyard, Dirt, and Soul. Each lipstick is carefully crafted to provide a velvety matte finish that is long lasting and comfortable to wear with a light vanilla scent in sleek packaging. It says available May 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So that should be 9 a.m. PST or $16 each. And it's available in a collector's PR box. What is your favorite shade? 
I did ask, but I haven't heard back yet. If these are all releasing this, if everything's releasing the same date, if there's gonna be more sneak peeks, because right now it looks like there's supposed to be a palette. We of course have got the crossbody bag, and then we've got these four lipsticks. Just as I'm about to start editing the video, I got a response from Wicked Widow Beauty, and yes, everything is being released on the 17th at one time. So it's not just the lipsticks or, or just the bag, the whole shebang. So I'm hoping it all comes out at the same day because I probably wouldn't mind getting the whole complete package because it is my birthday month and my quarterly time to buy something. And I don't know when Creature's coming out, but here we go. This looks really good to me. I have two um, Wicked Willow Beauty palettes. I love them. I have the Valentine's and I have the Halloween one. The quality is amazing. So I would definitely like to try some other products for them. These lip shades look great. There's kind of that gray blue, a red a kind of grayish, which is like a gray beige the way it kind of looks like and it looks like a black and then i like how each box has a slightly different photo this looks really good and i'm pretty excited about it yes and then and the hits keep coming so just i was editing some more and then i saw this pop up so this is people once believed that when someone dies a Crow carries her soul to the land of the dead. The duo highlighter features two duochrome shades, Eternally Yours and Resurrect, both adorned with an embossed rose. Eternally Yours is a dazzling white shade with a hint of blue sheen. Resurrect is a silver duochrome with an iridescent color shift and small black sparkles. It's $33 with code WICKED30, also available Friday, on May 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern everything will be coming at the same time but if there is a palette I probably won't get that up in time though but here's the highlighters and then next up this one is supposed to come out on Monday the 13th but there isn't a lot of information we've just got this here this is from Vampire Cosmetics x Buffy the Vampire Slayer it's about time I really love Buffy the Vampire Slayer it's one of my favorite shows has there been a little controversy with it over the last few years regarding Josh and Nikki? Yes, but the show is still um, amazing. If you can take the drama out of the show, it did speak for a full generation of teens and young adults. It was an amazing series. Angel I liked a little bit better, I have to admit but I was definitely a huge Buffy fan. I have all of it on DVD. I have even a DVD of the um, premiere episode with um, some different cast. So anyways, we've got here from Vampire um, Cosmetics. They're excited to announce their upcoming officially licensed first of its kind Buffy the Vampire Slayer makeup collection, May 13th, 2024. Buffy the Vampire Slayer struck a chord with viewers with its central metaphor high school as hell. Buffy Summers had the weight of the world on her shoulders. Literally, it was up to her along with her circle of friends to battle the demons we all face and save the world. Even more popular today than when the television series first aired, the highly collectible limited edition Buffy beauty collection will capture the essence of the show. It will be made by fans for fans. Um, and then besides being officially licensed, of course, they are always... I believe vegan and cruelty free. And it's also woman owned, disabled owned and LGBTQ owned. So there we go. So that's all I got is that little photo and it's saying that it's supposed to look like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There wasn't anything when I looked today. So this is probably gonna be a, sur a surprise release. You'll like it or you don't. So we will have to see. I do you have one thing from them, I believe? I have one or two little things from them and I do like them. I think including a palette and I did like it. So I'm curious to see what this is all about. Alrighty, so we've got the new releases that are out, some of the ones that are coming and now we're on to nice but overpriced. <laughs> so this first one, I will just pop a photo of the palette up here with the cover, is gorgeous. They have some very interesting pack, um, packaging on these palettes. I got this one on Makeup on Your Radar, but I've also seen this page running around before. So this is um, from Look Healthy Store Official, and I believe the band is Sugar Rock or Brenda. 
and it's Sugar, Sh Sugar Rock Extravaganza Poly Tape Eyeshadow Palette, and it's a new arrival. So it is something that's um, out, out now. But dang, this is like the second or third release I've seen from this page that I thought it looks so amazing. Like, look at the colors. Here's a close up just of the palette. This looks like they'd be amazing with a duochromy, multi-chromy business with some very cool mattes. So you've got a white matte, a black matte, a brown, a gray. Like, this looks really good. We can do all those nice bases and have these beautiful colors on them. But Jesus, man, this is $178.45 Canadian. It's 12 shades. 12 shades. The package is beautiful. It's got a really cool shape. It's black. It's got a mirror. The imagery is great. It's 3D raised up. Like, it's gorgeous. But $178 for a palette. What kind of crack are you people on? Like, come on now. That is unbelievable. Again, if I was a multi-billionaire, I would consider it. But other than that, no way, no how. $178 for a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. Yikes, this is, this, this is, yeah, this is making look, like some other brands look really super cheap. Yes. And here is another one, photo up. What are these people thinking with these prices? Now, I like the look of Chantecaille. I've never owned anything Chantecaille. The packaging is always beautiful. They, um, when they do animal ones, there's a percentage that goes to an animal charity. That's amazing, I love it. Yes, maybe it's not for the poor people, but knowing the markup on makeup, come on now. But we're gonna talk about this release anyways. And this is, um, Shantikai has released their limited edition Sunstone collection for the summer of 2024. It's described as a sun-drenched color story reflecting the glittering shine, effervescent positive energy, and empowering properties of the powerful Sunstone. And then the collection is consisting of, it looks like a bronzer. It's called the Sunstone Real Bronze, a shimmery golden bronzer. It's US $82, $107 Canadian, 76 Great Britain pounds, and or 82 euro. It's a bronzer. Packaging pretty, but it's a bronzer. And it just continues on. Then they're having their lip shears. Um, and it's in that thin package that I'm not a huge fan of, but you know, whatever floats your boat. So we've got the Lip Sheer in Enthusiasm, which is a sheer mauve. Optimism, a sheer fuchsia. And Empower, a sheer mocha. It is $36 US, $48 Canadian, 33 Great Britain pounds, or 36 euro for a lip sheer. Okay then. And then we have the Sunstone Radiant Blush. We've got one in the shade called Energy, which is a peach shimmer. And then we have Confidence, a rose shimmer. It's $75 US, $99 Canadian, 70 Great Britain pounds, or 75 Euro. It's a blush. All the photos is from the brand. <laughs> I, though I did grab this from Makeup On Your Radar. I know the markup on makeup. This is insanity. I just think it's ridiculous, but it's beautiful. So I wanted to show it in case you're liking the high-end stuff. These are a couple of high-end things that I thought looked really cool, but holy Hannah Montana, you gotta be a multi-millionaire to have a full face of that stuff. Well, that's it from me today. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, maybe even hit that notification bell. Um, if not, that's okay. We can still be friends and still talk new releases together. As always, behave, make good choices, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.